Hello everyone, today I'm going to share with you my favorite lipsticks and this is a holy grail sort of video so I'm going to share with you 10 lipsticks that I absolutely love and adore especially if you have dry sensitive lips as I do. Now today I am wearing a lip that is not part of this top 10, it's actually by Terry's new fall color. It's a really velvety creamy liquid lipstick but I just started using it so I didn't really feel comfortable including it in this top 10 because all of these are tried and true. Now I know a lot of you are curious about the new Louboutin lipsticks and I have ordered them. I overnighted my shipment so that I can have swatches for you guys as soon as possible and some of you requested a video so that will actually be my next video review. So I'll try on all nine of the lipsticks and I have three currently, all the Rouge Louboutins in the three different formulas but I ordered six more and a lip liner so please stay tuned and hold all your questions until I post that video. They're truly phenomenal but they are $90 a piece so I'm sure all of us expect them to be good. Today the most expensive lipstick in this video will be by Tom Ford so they're $52 a piece and we'll go as low as $25 a piece with Laura Mercier but they're actually some of the best lipsticks in this video. So I know it can seem daunting because I'm already throwing out numbers but all of these lipsticks are really gorgeous, worthwhile, high-end and designer products so I highly recommend all of them and my lips are super finicky. They're quite fickle and sensitive. So if you're in the same boat as me, then definitely give these a try. I'm going to start with my Clé de Peau Luminizer. So as you can see, this is my bare skin and I'm swatching on my bare face today because I don't want to ruin the foundation, which is inevitable when you swatch 10 lipsticks. So let's get started with my first pick, which is one of the most natural. I just love this color and how emollient the texture is. It can accentuate lip lines depending on which shade you wear, but in this macro view, every lip line is accentuated. When you look at the face from a normal distance, your lips don't look quite as wrinkly. It actually makes your lips look quite full and natural and lustrous. I would reapply every three to four hours depending on how often you drink or how much you talk, but I do think that this is a great everyday lipstick. Some of the shades do have shimmer, like like this one, but the ones without shimmer are a little extra hydrating and will not irritate lips whatsoever. Then we have another everyday lipstick with my Burberry Kisses formula and today I decided to show you Bright Coral. I generally tend to wear a lot of nudes and neutrals, you know, baby pinks and the like, so I figured I would show you a pop of color with Bright Coral and this is one of the few orange lipsticks that I really think are flattering and universally appealing and in general the Kisses line is great for those who enjoy natural makeup. I highly recommend, if you like natural makeup, taking the lipstick with a fingertip, a clean fingertip of course, and gently patting it on. If you're looking for medium to full color coverage, however, apply directly from the bullet. And this shade does not have shimmer, but some of them, like Peony, I believe do have a little bit of shimmer. It's very microfine though. Now for Tom Ford, I'm going to talk about Tom Ford twice in this video. And these are the lipsticks that I've been dedicated to for the longest. They make your lips look fuller, they feel comfortable. $52 is undeniably a large amount to spend on one lipstick, but I'm telling you, Spanish pink is so worth it. <laughs> this is loved by bloggers everywhere with good reason. And it's just so creamy, it covers the natural lip completely. It's the perfect pink nude for me. It's not too light and it's not too pink. Now we're going to move on to Charlotte Tilbury who is still somewhat a newcomer in the US and I really love her kissing lipsticks. Hepburn Honey is just so beautiful on. It's really rich, it's really creamy, but today I'm going to talk about Miss Kensington which is new actually. This is a matte revolution so it's a different formula than the kissing but I feel like this is one of the better matte lipsticks out on the market and I'm going to talk about another one at the end of this video but I think for a nude this one is so beautiful and the reason why I wanted to talk about the matte lipstick specifically is because they're offered in so many different nude variations. Nude, I'm sure as many of you know, is a very relative term because what's nude on me may not be nude on you. So for those with dark skin who might think Miss Kensington is too light, some people with extra fair skin might think Miss Kensington is too dark. That's kind of the beauty of makeup, you know, the experience of finding what works 
looks for you. And this one might appear similar to Spanish pink up close, but I love the texture of this one because it's a little bit more powdery in finish compared to the Tom Ford lip color. It is definitely cooler against my skin tone than Spanish pink. Charlotte's lipsticks definitely give volume and they just simply look good on the lips. Now for my top pick for every day. This is by Terry's Rouge Terribly in 101 Flirty Rose. This formula might have a funny name, but it is one of the best lipsticks I've ever put on my lips. And I've loved every single shade that I've used. They all feel and look really good. None of them are patchy. The pigmentation is just through the roof. This is one of the most underrated lipsticks ever. Lipstick, no lipstick. So as you can see, it just emphasizes is the natural coloring of my lips and that's exactly what a my lips but better shade should do. It actually looks a lot more brown in the tube so I was very hesitant at first but I have since fallen in love with it and I do think that it's a great everyday color for you know most light to medium skin toned women. I think this color Flirty Rose is a handbag essential and it's definitely one of my top three picks from this entire Holy Grail lipsticks video. Then we're going to talk about the lipstick that I wore in my last video which was my August favorites and it was a big hit because this color is is phenomenal and I love the packaging this is part of the Rouge Pure Couture Kiss and Love collection by YSL and there are four shades available in this limited edition release but believe it or not the fuchsia is my favorite and it's so smooth so creamy really rich and pigmented I wasn't a huge fan of the YSL Rouge Pure Couture until this particular release I feel like they've gone above and beyond to improve the formula and make the packaging a lot more unique I just like the kiss imprints it's just too cute you know how how can you resist a lipstick like this? And I love that you can actually see how hydrating and comfortable this formula is. It really clings to my lips well. It hugs the curves and it doesn't look patchy. It's not the longest lasting lipstick in the world, but I'm just so enamored with this Rouge Pure Couture Kiss and Love collection. The four shades are just universally flattering and truly a must have. So if you buy any lipstick this season, make sure it's these. Now for the Tintin Gelato by Shiomura. I love, love, love love this liquid lipstick because it is super easy to layer until 100% opacity. It is that rich and it only takes two or three swipes. So even if you have really dark, really pigmented lips, this will cover them. I love this light peach. It's one of my favorites of all time. It can be difficult to find a peach that's not too pale and more importantly, not too patchy looking, but this one is just one of those rare finds that I keep coming back to again and again. It's also offered in a lot of bright and vivid shades so if you've ever been hesitant about trying Shiomura or you were just confused and you didn't know where to start, I highly recommend trying these Tintin Gelatos. The best part is you can use it as blush. We're going to start winding down with the most affordable lipstick in my top 10 and this is the Laura Mercier Lip Parfait Creamy Color Balm in Sweet Guava. I wasn't expecting to fall in love with these lipsticks but I absolutely adore them. It's so saturated so shiny, so glossy. It's really beautiful and hydrating and comfortable on the lips. The packaging is very subtle and compact, you know, not too loud or flashy. It's easy to pop into a purse and again, they're only $25 a piece. This hydrating lip color is as good as it gets when you want to combine luminous shine with ease of application and minimal feathering. Now this product is actually new for fall 2015, but I just had to include it in this video for a few reasons. This is is Armani's number 505 Ecstasy Lacquer. Some might consider this a lip gloss, but because of the color coverage and the performance, I consider it a lipstick. And after waiting for about 10 to 20 seconds for it to set, it will stay put for hours on end. I was shocked the first time I tried it because it literally lasted six hours. I didn't eat or drink anything, but it just looked flawless. I think the key with this Rouge Ecstasy Lacquer is to layer on slowly, a little bit at a time. Use really light pressure and long strokes to apply this color. That way you don't disturb the work that you've already done. And the formula will smooth itself out and as you can see the color looks ultra even. And so once you get the hang of it, it is a really easy liquid lipstick to use. I'm super super impressed with this Armani release and if you've ever found that the YSL glossy stains are too sticky for you, 
definitely try this. If you've ever been one of those people that said, I don't wear lip gloss because none of them are pigmented enough for me, then you need to try this Ecstasy Lacquer. Whew. We are on number 10. Last but not least, we have Tom Ford's Ruby Rush Matte Lip Color. And I am really into reds. So actually, I used to hate wearing red lipstick. I started wearing red lipstick by wearing it around the house, and it was just a matter of getting used to seeing my face in such a bright color. As a whole, Tom Ford's matte lip color is a beautiful collection. All of the lip colors feel dense, but they're really lightweight. They don't make my lips peel whatsoever. They don't feel as powdery as Charlotte Tilbury's, so it will give you a slightly different look. It's not quite as matte. It's totally non-drying, really, really rich. It's just the perfect matte red. And if you're looking for something more affordable, I also really like Burberry's Matte Lip Velvet in Military Red. I can tell you with confidence that this is one of the most hydrating matte formulas out there and the color coverage is just incredible. So that's why I think it's better for those who struggle with dry lips. If you think a full coverage red like this is way too much, the cool thing about red lipsticks is that you could always tone it down. Use a lip brush and control the coverage. Wear how much you're comfortable with. You don't have to go all out like I did today. And that's a wrap for my Holy Grail lipsticks video. I hope you guys found it helpful and don't forget I'm going to be doing a haul slash unboxing slash try on session with my Louboutin lipsticks when they come in. Keep your eyes peeled and I'll see you soon. Bye!